In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the best workflow for using subsurface scattering with Mental Core. If I render the current scene, this is what we get. To add subsurface scattering, first we'll open up the Hypershade. Now I'm going to select the shader for the rabbit and graph it. You can see in the Mental Core shaders we have a slot for subsurface. This is designed to work with one of the two Core Simple SSS or Core Skin SSS. I'm going to make the Core Skin shader. Next, drag and drop the skin shader onto the subsurface slot. You'll see the swatch for the shader suddenly gets really bright. This is because we have full amount of diffuse mixing with the subsurface scattering shader. We need to compensate for this by reducing the diffuse weight to balance the two out. Now we'll do another render. You can see now we have a problem. The subsurface scattering is going right through the rabbit, causing it to go red. This is because the scale is not set correctly. Select the skin shader. Under the algorithm control section, we need to increase the scale conversion option to suit the scale of our scene. You can see our rabbit now has subsurface scattering. The light maps are automatically connected for you when you drag and drop the shader onto the subsurface slot. To help with setting the shader up and finding the right settings, it can be useful to create a subsurface render pass to preview just the subsurface effect. You can also preview the front, mid and back layers of subsurface scattering and render them to individual passes for better control and compositing.